Well, hello, I'm Dr. Holds, and I'd like to welcome you to the practice. I'd like to discuss a specific problem called ptosis or blepharoptosis. This is one of the two sorts of droopy upper eyelids that I commonly see. When patients present with a droopy upper eyelid, it's very important to differentiate. Are we talking about an eyelid margin that actually sags, or is it upper lid skin that's sagging over, and that is the perceived droop. Some patients can even have both conditions. A ptosis or droopy upper lid can be a condition that you're born with. It can be acquired as an adult. Or you could even be born with it and have it worsen as you age. There are a number of medical reasons you can develop this, and it's important for us to carefully evaluate you if you do have ptosis and determine the cause. Most patients with ptosis can be repaired through a procedure performed under local anesthesia with a bit of intravenous sedation. So we would essentially make you sleepy, knock you out briefly, numb up the eyelid where the incision is made, hidden in the eyelid fold, and uh, then let you wake up as we're exposing the tendon that raises the eyelid. Most patients I can raise the eyelid by shortening or reinforcing this tendon that raises the lid. There are occasional patients who have other conditions where we have to perform other sorts of surgery to correct ptosis. The patient who I can treat with this uh, external sort of incision and repair about 90 to 95 percent of these folks I can get the eyelid pretty darn close, either right on or so close that it makes no sense to the patient or I to uh, attempt to address this further. Five to 10 percent of patients we have can have either an under or an over correction of the lid height where it's necessary to go back and perform a second procedure either very early in the first two weeks after surgery or much later to uh, attempt to address this. The other issue, as I mentioned, some patients will be aware also of overhanging skin or with the ptosis as the eyelid is raised, the eyelid behaves somewhat like a Roman shade and as the lid margin comes up, the skin has to go somewhere and tends to hang over a bit more. So sometimes for medical or cosmetic reasons, we have to also perform a blepharoplasty where we re remove some of this redundant tissue uh, at the time of surgery. The benefit of this procedure obviously is to try to raise the lid and for either medical reasons to see better or cosmetic reasons to simply look better achieve uh, an improved result. The potential disadvantages as we mentioned you have to undergo a surgical procedure. Uh, five to ten percent of folks end up with a second procedure or a result that's just not exactly what we were hoping for. There's certainly always a risk of a bit of bruising, bleeding, infection. We mentioned potential need for reoperation, uh, but in most cases we can avoid these issues. So we look forward to examining you in the office and after we've examined you, if we determine that ptosis surgery is appropriate for you, we'll have an opportunity to answer questions further and decide what is going to work absolutely best for you.